Hey, welcome to Fireside Gaming. Uh, I'm Billum. We're doing uh, another demo discourse. If you don't know, Steam's currently doing their next fest, which is basically where they put up a butt ton of demos for upcoming games. And you see a lot of indie games get demos this way. And what we're looking at today is Agent 64 Spies Never Die. Um, if you can't already guess from the title, this is very much a GoldenEye. Uh, Goldeneye 64, uh, you know, 007 uh, type game, like what was made by Rare back in the day for the N64. Um, big reference to it, and it has a demo. It looked neat, you know? I mean, I liked Goldeneye back in the day. I haven't played it since forever ago, so, you know, this will be a fun experience, and hopefully it reignites some of those uh, nostalgic feelings I have about the game. So let's go ahead and check it out. Straight to the story. Tower escape. Unknown, uh, unknown, unknown armed assailants have taken over the skyscraper and are looking for you. Given their number, they seem to know who you are and your abilities. Put them out of action and escape the tower. Agents. Oh, okay. We get different objectives. All right. Um, I am not going to go 64 agent. Access ground, open ventilation hatch, access ground floor, escape tower. That one adds three civilian hostages. Defuse explosives. I don't know. I mean, like, that doesn't seem too bad. Does it bump the AI? I don't know. You know what? Let's just, let's just go hard. Agent 64, 64 agent, whatever it is. I like how this is opening like GoldenEye levels did back in the day. Okay. E opens door. I'm using mouse and keyboard. Sorry if you can hear that. Oh my, that turn speed is... Oh, oh man. Okay, that's reload. We need to adjust the sensitivity real quick. Um, cause that was really slow. Sure, let's, let's set it to that and... Oh, that is much better. All right, holy crap. Uh, I actually, I keep a very, very sensitive mouse. Um, just kind of what I'm used to. I kind of like the no reticle aspect of it, cause you're so used to seeing reticles in modern games, but... I mean... It's not like you need it, and it seems to be that there's a, a little bit of... Maybe there's a little bit of auto-aim? I'm not quite sure. It feels like my bullets are kind of being drawn towards them. Sure. Explosives. Oh, wire cutters. Okay. And back to gun. All right. I pressed uh, Q to bring those up. Elevators are locked on this floor. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We can aim down sights. Kind of. Not like actually aiming down sights, but... It feels a bit wonky. Um... Oh, I see. Oh yeah, there's definitely some... Gosh, yeah, there's, there's some auto-aim. It's pulling me from shooting at the explosive barrel to shooting other people around it. That's... Hmm... Hmm, is there an option to turn that off? Like... Um... Doesn't look like it. Like, I get that, you, you know, they probably want you to uh, play with... That, gives me, that makes me think of Metal Gear Solid, by the way, just uh, two having posters of, like, hot girls all over the place. But, um, 
I get that maybe, you know, they're really expecting people to play this with a controller for that, like, you know, complete retro feel. And I'd considered it, but uh, I just figured, you know, I, I mouse and keyboard might as well. But I am, uh, I am hurting after that. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I, I'd like to be able to turn the auto-aim off, honestly. I, I don't really care for it all that much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wasn't expecting that, but I mean, I guess that is kind of how it worked in GoldenEye, isn't it? Like, not quite like that, but like everything kind of, like, even boxes kind of had like a little, like, flare, like uh, a fire pop up. Yeah, I do, I do like this. It, like, it's kind of a little off because it, like, it really slows down the speed of, like, your mouse movement. So, like, that and then that are, like, the same amount of movements. And, like, that makes sense. But it also like is kind of is kind of jarring. Maybe there was a setting for that I didn't see. I'm surprised there hasn't been any like health pickups. Maybe it's because I'm playing on that Agent 64 mode. There's less health or something. Elevators are locked on this floor still. Okay. Boop. Actually, do things the spy way. Those are just doors closing behind me. Okay. Oh, you're not a bomb. You're a, you're a decoder. Okay. I thought they were remote mines, you know, like that. I feel like that makes sense. Can I, can I crouch? Mm, must not be able to. I'm in ventilation shafts though. I don't think I can crouch. Ah, ah, we're gonna drop into a bathroom. This is, yep, you're playing with my nostalgia there. First mission of GoldenEye, like if you don't know. <laughs> okay, all right. Um. Is this going to start me from the beginning? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. I like how that guy showed up, even though, you know, I've got like a silence pistol. Gosh, I, I like the pistol more than the, the machine gun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no jump, which makes sense. 
but like I still instinctively try to do it, you know? pre-knowledge now. Is that everyone? I can't remember how many people were down here. not everyone. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be me playing on Agent 64 is why there's probably like no health pickups or anything, I bet. I just wanted to do the extra challenges, but first time playing, maybe I shouldn't have. Excuse me. Yeah, because that would be perfect for like a health spot, like blow it up and get health out of all those or something. Like I said, it, it's probably the difficulty setting, I would imagine. Should be, yep, one more guy. And then we'll come over here. And there was another guy here that started shooting at me. Yeah, you. Be a little quieter about this this time. Or not, because those guys just pop up. <laughs> like, literally just pop up. You gotta wonder why that one door randomly opened and pushed him. Alright, we're in new territory. Hello? Is this one of the bombs? Yep, okay. There we go. Bomb diffused. Disarmed, whatever. Okay. Alright. I don't trust all these stalls, but I don't know as if I also, like, 
really want to like check them all, but, but then you get that. Dang it. Yeah, and you know if I don't check these stalls, those guys are gonna just like pop out behind me. I am surprised that guy had not acted yet. I checked all of those stalls. Okay. I wish... is there a way to... I kind of wish there was a way to save, you know? Like, mid-level? Like, I, I get it, you know, one shot, one chance kind of thing, but... And maybe, maybe that's a difficulty thing, since I'm playing on a harder difficulty. Like I said, I just, I just want to do the extra task. It sounds, sounds, sounds more fun that way. Gosh, I'm going to run out of ammo from my pistol. Woo! 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 Alright, well, cat's out of the bag. Got me from all the way back there, huh? I'm gonna die again and not actually complete this watch. Locked door. Another bomb disarmed. need a key card. Okay, all right. That gives me an idea of what I'm looking for next. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Not gonna lie, with this machine gun, kind of relying on that auto-aim a little bit that I was complaining about earlier. Alright, so... Still haven't defused all the explosives yet. Hey, wonder how many civilians there are. Ah, no. I should have shot a second sooner. Dang it. Dang it. So they must shoot after you see them or something. Like they've got a timed thing. Well, that sucks, but I mean... I like the missions, you know, completely lost. Ok, 
three civilians, probably. I just, I missed that one. Ah. Uh, oh well. All right. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> it kills me. Uh, what are my other missions? Access the ground floor. Diffuse explosives. I've still got to diffuse explosives with my itty bitty bit of health that I have left. I checked that room already, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, yeah, there was a bomb in that room. I didn't see a key card unless there was one back here I just I missed I could have could have been like on one of these tables doesn't look like it's in there or in there or in there or here I already checked this right yeah yeah this one okay okay um Hmm. Did I see it and I just missed it? I mean, like, I know myself. I, I miss small details. A lot. But there might have been places down here I haven't checked yet. I can't remember. Did I check this room? I did. No key card. Okay, so what if I don't use the key card? What if I... I... I didn't think so, but I wanted to try. This is going to be like one of those things where one of you guys is watching and you've seen me like look at the key card two times now. And you're just like, pick up that key card. And I'm like, I don't see the key card, guys. Like, I feel like that's exactly going to be a thing. Because I'm not, I'm not like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Also, it's a really weird texture, like reflection texture compared to what's on the ceiling. Key card. Key card. No secrets. Hmm. No paintings don't blow up. Yeah, I didn't. Where would this key card be? Um, well, here. All right. So, don't shoot bombs. Um, and. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I I liked what I was playing. I just I don't know what happened to the key card. Like I couldn't find it. And I don't know if that was like that guy or something. Um I mean this is this is fun so far of what it is. You know, it's a fun little demo. I would I would I would play this game especially if it has a uh, online multiplayer where I can invite friends and play and stuff like that. Like that sounds awesome because like I I'm sure that's something that they would be up for. Um, I just, ah, uh, like it, it's a demo. It's a beta demo, I think even. So, you know, it's, uh, this might just be a problem that I specifically ran into. Um, I'm going to go and give it another play real quick and see what I can find out. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll jump ahead in the recording if I find the key card and show you guys and then we can move on from there.
Okay, so I was wrong. Um, I guess I do have to save the civilians. And now this guy is going to go open the way to the ground floor for me. So, okay. Not, <clears throat> excuse me, not what I was expecting, but we're progressing. So I guess that is just how it works in maybe the Agent 64 thing. I don't know. Either way, we're ready to move forward and he's going to run off. And I saved him before. That It's worth noting that I did save him before. Hello. So where do you guys run to? You just run in here and despawn when I'm not looking, probably. I bet. But, uh, I saved that civilian before and he didn't offer to unlock the door for me. So I can only assume that I had to save all of the scientists or civilians, you know, whatever we want to call them in order to be able to progress. So that that's on me. Good thing I went back and checked. Um, still seems like a weird requirement, you know, to have to save all of them. Like if I would have just saved that specific one. You know, but it's it's whatever. All right, we're on the ground floor, which means we just need to uh, do another bomb still and escape. That guy running was not me being an excellent shot. That was the auto aim kicking in and killing him. Hey, last bomb. Okay, and now we, yeah, we just have to escape. Gosh, it's so blue. I'm, I'm like afraid there's going to be a guy just like hiding in the shadows and I don't see him, you know? And I'm not like doing the best on health. I'm not like horrible. I can probably take a couple shots, but I I did kind of like do a guns blazing run to get to this point again, since I'd already played through this. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else and this is the exit. Objective five accomplished, mission complete. Okay. I did that in 10 minutes and 55 seconds and the par time is two minutes and 40 seconds. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, that's, that's agent 64 spies never die. Um, fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I still think it's a little weird that I had to save every single civilian to get that to progress, especially since save the civilians aren't on the uh, like if we look here, you know, open ventilation hatch, access ground floor, escape tower. And then here we've got now we have to free civilians. So like if I just played on agent mode, would that like door just be open? Would I not need a card key? I don't know. I could I could check, but like I don't think I need to spend more time on this as it's just a demo and I don't want to like waste your guys' times. So with that said, uh, this seems fun. I'm looking forward to the final release. I'm glad that, you know, they put out a demo and that, you know, I saw this through a PC gaming show, maybe? I can't remember. Uh, Summer Game Fest is how I saw this. But uh, check it out if you want to. It's on Steam. You can download it and play it. It does support mouse and keyboard controls as well as uh, controller, gamepad controls if you want to go that route and, you know... Trust the auto aim, which isn't bad, but did mess with me a little bit sometimes. I'd like an option to turn it off. But uh, yeah, yet again, uh, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Oh, um, expect more of these. I am going to be playing more demos uh, in the coming days since there's so many of them coming out and I want to cover them. So the channel might be a little flooded with demo discourses for the next week, maybe, hopefully, as long as I can find the time to do it. Um, but yeah, yeah, again, 
Thank you for joining me, and I hope you all have a good one, and take it easy.